I like the elbow bump. <laughs> yeah, Tybal is pretty sick. So That's fair. Safety first. And Ness is a short character, which is something that ZSS can struggle with. Right. So, what do you think that Johan wants to do star combos in this set, in this matchup? To lead into a combo? Yeah. That's a good question. Especially with Ness's size, it's a lot more difficult to do that. I am, I know up tilt would get him places. But that requires him to get close to Ness. Going for the... Peek Thunder 2? Peek Thunder 2, yeah. I mean, he's... He, the game is currently very close. Oh, definitely. And, it, you know, if someone I mean, a makes kill. a swing, yeah. I mean, at this point, I feel like uh, Johan's just out of combo. Like, he's not, he doesn't want to play combos anymore. Oh, Ooh, and the uh, unfortunate spike self destruct. But Side B will do it. Yeah, I think he could have lived a little bit longer if he DI'd that properly. Yeah. But it's one of those moves that's kind of hard to DI just because you don't ever, you never, you want to be able to DI to avoid the strong hit. Right. But you're not sure which hits connect to the strong hit. Unless you've played against this character a lot. Definitely. Time with a fair chain. Oh. Up. Oh. The Nair comes out in time to prevent the Johan follow up. The Johan follow up. Well, we can't call the Damon follow up because Damon's not going to. This is true. Ooh, that back here coming out the horn could be. Yeah. The thing with Damon is like if they're not the percent to get to if they're not the percent to get boost kicked it out of the berry, then he doesn't have a follow up. Right. So much pressure with these uh, empty hops. Yeah. He just knows that, like, Ness's threat range, and he knows that he can threaten it with so many different moves. Definitely, yeah. But still, Tybal is in the lead by percent. Ooh. Just because of that, too. Yeah. Self That'll do it. But Johan claims back the lead. Ooh, that other not connecting. But, but the Nair will end that stock. And we are now going into an even stock last stock situation. Interesting choice to like just kind of throw a bunch of Nairs there. Right. Previously I saw Tybal use a lot of forward air and partially because it's a good zoning tool and partially because it has a lot of space and combos into itself. Definitely. Ooh, the oh, the fire. double PK fire. That's that's just the disgusting damage. Yeah. Zero suits back Fuck? here. Du yeah. Two of them? A third? No, not yet. You know, I think Zero Suits' his air is better than it was last game. Oh, but definitely. it doesn't look yeah. nearly as impressive. Yeah. It looks like this limp noodle. That's fair. Yeah. They are. Oh, all right. That but the double there into, into back air. Dang. That was, that was clean. So, is this... Wait, is this best of three? I mean, best of five? We are in winner's finals, and we have... We are. Yeah, we're doing really good on time. It's only 9 o'clock. Well, we have a lot of setups. Like that's that's true. For a lot of this, for a lot of before the bracket started, we had more setups than p we had this. We had a near two to one ratio of setups. Wow. Okay. Yeah. That that would do it. So how does Brian work? In?
Oh, hey, Polutena. Okay. So, I don't think he's gonna get as much mileage off of uh, Explosive Flame as he did in that set against uh, one more, but... Ooh, the Nair String? Ugh. A dirty 46 right there. Ah, okay. Yeah, definitely a great tool to counteract it. Zero Suit Samus just jumping around. Definitely. So... Great landing forward air off of that down special. <coughs> Ooh. But I'm pretty sure that Johan's played against his fair share of zero suits in his own time. Definitely. I mean, fair share of Polytanas, yeah. yeah. And it yes, Tybo's just kind of stuck in the corner right now. And with Polutena, you don't have a lot of options to zone break other than dash attack, which is super risky. Yeah. But a lot of times, yeah. And that? Typo's just sort of cornering himself by getting, by making sure he's in position to throw up back air. Yeah. Like retreating back air. But at some point, it's not going to kill if he's too far from the stage. Like there. Right. Oh, oh runs into it. Flame. And Dash Ooh. will take it. All right. All right. In one single bound, he makes up that entire stage. <gasps> oh. And that's a Ooh. beautiful down air. Now it. Now let's see if Johan can get like a Nair flip kick. Because for every like. For every stock you take at zero. It feels like your opponent just finds a way to take their stock at zero. Oh, too. absolutely. Go for the raw know. F smash. Okay. Great down air. And Warp will make it back. Ooh. Oh. Becker will do it too. Johan at 54%, he definitely can make this comeback. I didn't realize that the feet would be, would have enough priority to beat out to the Nair hits, but he learns something new every day. Up. Oh. Uh, and flip kicking out of that up here. Oh, and the back, back air, that yeah. ends that game. Two stocks to none. Yeah. Too bad for you. Eh, not necessarily. I mean, they're, they're, I feel like they're both going to run at each other a lot, which is going to make it a lot shorter than it could be. Well, it can't be a clean zero at this point. <laughs> Wait a minute. I mean, hey, we got time for that. No, we don't. That's true. That's true. Yeah, it's one of those scary things. Oh, hey, he got the Wabelle. Look at that. It's beautiful. Oh, no, he, mi he messed it up. Don't bring it back. <laughs> eh. That's like one-tenth of 300. That down air is just putting in work from Tybal. It killed that stock, and it leads into so much. Well, not so much, but it leads. It definitely covers a blind spot in Paulo Tana's aerials that Johan hasn't been respecting very much. Definitely. And yeah, there's this weird thing with the ZSS's light trapping in that she has to hard commit to a single option, but the option she does commit to punishing is punished very hard. Definitely. Okay. Yeah. Really Bounces off the ground so and is able to punish with fair. Ooh. Not safe on shield. So, who do you think has a stage advantage here? 
Oh, yeah, I'd definitely say Johan. Uh, Ty Wilson okay. playing at a disadvantage for past 20 seconds or so. Just I mean, stage advantage. Like, who do you think Smash will benefit more? Oh, in that sense. Um, I still got to give it to ZSS in this one, just because with her mobility options, just in general, and the one platform doesn't do Tybal a ton of health here. Johan entering into Paulo Tana's airspace and gets back aired for it. Fair starts starts a grab, leads into another fair. Riveting gameplay. <laughs> and I think what Johan wants to do is he wants to use his greater horizontal reach in order to zone out Palu. Right. Whereas uh, Tybal kind of wants to use his uh, priority, like strong hitbox with his back air and his, uh, well, just his better punish game. Because he lands one nair, it does so much damage. Definitely, Whereas uh, Zero yeah. Suit, her individual hits don't do a lot, and then she also has to, uh, sometimes feel like she has to win neutral a lot of times if she can't get an you know, early cheese kill with nair flip kick. Right. Oh, that was so scary. And uh, another one of those, uh, another one of those moves that <coughs> Johan's been trying to use in order to bully horizontal space is the paralyzer, which you know, if it's not if it's done at a good distance and shield shielded, there's not much that Tybal can do to punish it. And even if he is over Johan's head, he needs to be able to expend a double jump in order to get that punish. Definitely, yeah. One thing I haven't noticed, I haven't seen a lot, is the up smash, which is... Yeah, Tybal hasn't been... Actually, neither of them, for that matter. Johan, I mean, like, Tybal's up smash is a little bit... Eh. That's fair. It's... Uh, I'll say, with the lack of... Tybal hasn't really u been using the middle platform that much. Yeah, or crossing up. Or crossing up. Oh, that's an interesting roll stage. I think that Tybal wasn't expecting it because Johan picked, like, flip kick every other time. Right. But at the same time, it does occupy the same space, so that's definitely a risk. Yeah. Polyphena's recovery, if she maintains her double jump, it's very hard to contest. Well, it's very hard to kill off. Right. And right now, yeah. Up throw is not going to do it just Johan yet. Johan is just looking for that kill. Yeah, it's so weird to see Johan struggling to find a kill. But this is what happens when he's fighting against a character who knows what ZSS kill options are. Right. And up air will do it. No, that was that, that was an up throw. Right. So, ah. Tank air. Yeah, up throw. All right, the jab. Rapid jab is a combo. Oh, it does catch the SS when she does the little rise animation from a ledge, <coughs> from a ledge grab off of a Zare. Right. Interesting. So. I was making good use of that explosive flame in this matchup. He has. And but it's one of these matchups that's kind of harder to use explosive flame in. Just because it, ZSS is so mobile. Yeah. And oh my, the clock has nearly run out. Yeah. I think we're not. I'm not. I don't think we're too concerned about a timeout, but eh, you know, anything is possible. It's really going to come down to. Ooh. He makes it out. Dash deck, not gonna take it just yet. Another, ooh, the Packer Back from center stage. That'll there it, it is. Tybal leads two to one. Oh. 
Oh, and Johan switching to Samus. Okay. Samus definitely has a better, better Zare, and better, better tools to sort of get around Explosive Flame. Definitely. Other than, you know, if you didn't think Flip Jump was good enough. <laughs> it is hard to beat Flip Jump. This is true. So the hard part necessarily isn't necessarily, you know, getting early combos on Samus because she is a little bit floaty. But sure. the real hard part is trying to kill Samus. Yeah. Absolutely. Heavier than Ridley. I mean, Ridley's not that heavy, if I'm not wrong. Or, I mean, compared to some of the other heavies. But, okay. Yeah. Definitely looking like a tie bowl game right now. Definitely, yeah. So, how do you think that, where does uh, Johan get his opening? Johan, it, like what just happened where Johan needs to get some raw hit in neutral. Usually, th I would say through a projectile. Well. Or off a grab. But, honestly, it's Depending on what he does with down B. Ooh, he, I think he, was he had a lot of punishes for that. He did. F tilt. And I feel like it, he saw it happen, and he couldn't decide which one he wanted. Yeah. But there we are. Oh, dear. Messes up the spacing on the bomb. Normally, that's uh, something that he gets really consistently. Because bomb F smash is just very deadly. Yeah. But, ooh, oh, the bomb. Good mix up. I no no no. Samus jab into dash back is disgusting. Really? It is so hard to contest and get around. Interesting. You play like a top Samus, and they do that to you. You don't know whether you're gonna get grabbed, you're gonna get F smash, you don't, or you're just gonna get dash attacked. It's scary. Right. Now, I will say, even though Johan is lost to Sokka, he's making a very solid comeback compared to the start of this game. Yeah. So, oh. And it's even, so. Complete even game yeah, and with a little and bit of charge on the charge, charge shot. shot. Or mostly charge. Yeah, yeah, it's mostly charge because you want to be able to keep the charge shot up for some movement mix-ups. Right, right. Fully charging it also makes it come out. I don't It comes it's a bit slower. Speed. Or is it? Hmm. I think because you need to activate the charging animation which is the same amount of time as you would if you just released a full charge one. That's true. Oh, oh trades with the jab. And somehow Polytonic's jab is better than someone else's jab for once. But yeah, this time he knows not to get, not to do the ledge snap with the, the uh, tether too early. Otherwise he might get hit by explosive flame. Definitely. Oh, let's go shield a little bit too early. F tilt touches him. But great dash jack to zone break there. Oh, double roll in. Both players just looking to get an edge in this set. And yep, Ooh, and that the back air will do it. <laughs> jab into short hop cross up back air. When you think the danger is over, it's not. Oh, great super missile to get back to stage. Oh, and the mix up, okay. Yeah, jab of one on your shield is just so scary. Yeah. And at least it's not a pre-patch where Samus could break your shield for that. Very true. And, yeah. well, oh, okay. Okay. But Johan, was, he, he was wary of the explosive flame. Yeah. For, at this point, it's uh, just... Uh, okay, good. Typo Scott is back to Johan, so that means that we're in kill... That's, that means we're in real kill percents. Mm -hmm. But 168, back to from almost anywhere will do it. <laughs> he wanted that charge shot. He did. Uh, Great bomb drop into back air. That was such a clean mix up. And forward air, not gonna take it just yet. But Johan is so much rage at this point. Yeah. 
Oh, F tilt. He is just chasing Paul Jano around the stage and, and the up tilt. up tilt will two frame there. We are going to game five. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you said that after it was 1-1. One, one. You said that when it, we were two games in and we were guaranteed at least four games. That's true. <laughs> yes, but that's kind of like betting on a horse after half the race is over. You can be right, but no one wants to take your bet at that point. So both players making deliberations on what stage they want to And we're back to Town City. All right. Johan's going to keep Samus. All right. All right. So this is going to be a game five with both, with <coughs> Tybal not playing his main and Johan playing like his main. Right. Yeah, one of those things about Bomb is that, t you know, you try to start a combo on Samus once she has Bomb out, and your combo just ends. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that was, that a, was a ballsy grab. It did the job. And I'll be out of shield. It used, it used to be a far more common option, but now Johan's figured out better punishes, and people have figured out how to space around it. Definitely. But early days of Smash uh, Ultimate... Yeah, we saw I that saw a lot. plenty of that. Oop, and then they're getting hit. Ooh. This is the grab. Beautiful down throw forward air. Tybal going for the high recovery. Makes it through the ledge trap. That back air. Yeah. Closing space. Tybal's just, a, I feel like he's going really high when it never feels like Johan wants to go high and... Yeah. Great mix-up on the waiting falling up air. Shield pokes that. Yeah, when Tybal's going that high up, it's really hard for him. Oh, and there it is, F the bomb F smash. It. Yep, and we are now entering another stage of the set. Yeah, Johan playing very well around that explosive flame. And Will back back do it? Yeah, they'll yeah. do it. Town and City has the closest the ledges to the blast zone hmm. off the side. Okay. But yeah, this is what happens when you try to expose the flame. Gets a little bit of charge on that charge shot. Nearly juiced up. Let's it rip. Just kind of reminding uh, Tybal that he has it available. Oh no, it trips. Ooh. Oh, the cross of up error. Reset to neutral, but it's a nice mix up that we haven't seen from him earlier. Yes. That, he's racking up percent with it. Oh yeah. At this point, it almost feels like auto reticle is a better projectile than explosive, explosive flame, flame yeah. which is oh, oh, there, there it is. Go. <laughs> At sixty nine percent, Tybalt can't seem to get hit. Yeah. And yeah, that back backer, backer will just beat out the charge shot. And to think that the invincibility on, on back air was better in Smash 4. Yeah. Okay. But Johan's sort of broken through. We're at this, we're at a, I don't want to say a more neutral state, a more neutral point, but maybe, yeah, it's like, yeah. they both, both at kill general. percent, yeah. so. Maybe call it, I don't know. They're both around. Danger I'd, neutral. I'd say they were playing safe, but 
That was a little questionable. But. Yeah, so my new name, the new name is if both players are kill person. Oh, and the F2 Ooh. will take it. It will beat out that normal spot dodge. You calling it dangerous neutral? Yeah, I'm calling it dangerous neutral when both players are at over 100%. I like that. And Johan is on his last stock for winner side. Whereas Tybal's just he's got a, he's got yeah, a little wiggle room. Yeah, he's got. But it's really gonna come down. Okay. Yep. Great predictions. Like he's just calling out. He he knows that Samus's horizontal movement, especially in the air, is sort of slow. Right. So now it's just a question of uh, calling up or down. Right. And with Dash Attack, he can afford to be a little bit lenient. Or fair. But... See this? Fair but will do it. <laughs> Johan breaking through a little bit. He has a lot of ground to make up. But Samus is a very good character at that. Oh, good catch with the up air. Yeah, that mix, that jab one mix up is so scary. Definitely, he has a lot of options out of that. But, and yeah, Johan has adapted pretty well to the explosive play. I'm yeah, he's say. also adapted pretty well to uh, Tybal's options of moving around, like yeah. his, his new movement options. Because uh, Tybal's trying to play a little bit more aggressive here. And sort of caught on to Johan's pace. Oh, the charge shot does end it. That'll do it. Tybal. Yeah.